everyone, Julie from Blended Life here and I have another food for thought for you guys for today. I want to talk about taking the pressure off of step parents. If you're a spouse and you're married to someone who is a step parent of your child or you're a step parent yourself, I think there's a tremendous amount of pressure that we both have put on us as a step parent and that we put on ourselves as a step parent right off the bat, right out of the gate. We have something to prove. We have bars that are set super high expectations to meet, and it all is very, very overwhelming. I would like us all as step parents, and I am one too, to take a deep breath, another deep breath, and another deep breath, because it's okay. It's okay to struggle in your relationship with your stepchild. It's okay to have your bonding takes some time. It's okay for your stepchild not to receive you with open arms. I mean, our, all the kids who are in blended families have been put through a lot. Their natural family has split apart. They're confused, they're unsure. They're looking for structure and security. And right now you're probably not the person to give it to them. So I think we all need to adjust our expectations just a little bit and extend a whole lot of grace to ourselves and to our spouses and just let it happen naturally. Another thing I would like to say is that part of being a step parent and an adult in this situation is that I think that we are held, that the relationships are always put all on our shoulders, right? Like if our relationship is failing or succeeding with our stepchild, it's because of us. It's because of what we've done what we've encouraged, what we've provided, what we've loved on or whatever. But the truth is in any relationship, it's a two sided street, you know? So it's, it is half of you as an adult, but the child also is half of that relationship. So for parents to expect it to be all on one person's shoulders, whether it's the kids or the adult, I think is super unrealistic. So if you're a spouse or if you're a parent and you are married to someone who is a step parent of your child, I would invite you to take a step back and look at your stepchild and see what efforts they are making in that relationship if they're warming up to the step parent. You know, I was in therapy one time and my therapist told me, you know, you don't pick up a por porcupine. If you see a porcupine on their backs or on their legs and their needles are straight out, not really inviting to pick up and hold, right? You're gonna get hurt. And I think that we forget about that a lot in regards to kids. Kids are highly emotional and we need to read their cues. We need to let them be emotional, be upset, be whatever they need to be and not force something that they may not even want. They may be perfectly fine to be not close to your spouse or their step parent and you need to really be okay with that. And just the most you can hope for is respect and honor and just to be there for one another and to show up. I think step parenting is a lot about support and nothing about control. So that is my food for thought for today, you guys. Um, I would love to hear what you um, think on this subject. Comment below, please. This I feel like is a very controversial topic. I think everyone would say something different on this subject and that's okay. You know, um, that's why we are a flashlight people, right? We're all lighting the way for each other so that we can have the best possible outcome for our family. So comment below, below subscribe, um, cl click the bell, ding the bell, whatever the bell is, the bell's a big deal I hear. Um, like us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I just, Thank you guys for sharing this time with me. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.